National Harmonic Hospital later, then? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! We'll get it one time, so I bet you I can do it one of these. No, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. 9 at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. Um... How about quitting early? How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? Uh, what do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before 8, my pop would kill me. Mm. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Oh, we're gonna go through this Pop is the most learned, just, how, incorruptible how do we skip this? judge that Hill oh, Valley has ever God. seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Alright, then we're going to this one. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. Yeah, that. No idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. Damn it. Uh, about your... Don't say it. Oh my gosh. What are we supposed to do? Do we go talk to Doc? The older Doc, at least? No, 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 no. Okay, we're going in this time. I don't need to go in there anymore. Um, hmm. We're gonna use a hint, because I'm kind of confused right now. Um, and we'll give you this time of day, perhaps, if you... If you... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Two had something in common. Yes, I need another hand. What is Emmer Emmett muttering to himself when he thinks about me? Not this. Ooh. Something about science, I'm sure. Okay, we're using all of them. Emmett's scientific problems are gibberish to Marty, but there's somebody who can make sense of them. Doc. Okay, so we're going to exit here. And we're gonna. Oh. H stand for one, the one-dimensional harmonic oscillator. Then naturally. He's still talking about science. So. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Damn it. Uh, about your. Don't say it. Hmm. But in that case, H to the. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's try one a more federal crime, Mr. The other Corleone. One. If it doesn't work. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that he'll hide. Alright, so we're gonna have to skip those. Gosh dang it. Alright, so we're gonna have to do this uh, about one. About your... To leave him alone. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Doc. Is that even possible? Oh, let's start over. Force equals mass times acceleration, of course. That's Newton. But how many Newtons are required to maintain a constant mass? Alright, so we're gonna go to Doc. And we're gonna go talk to Doc. Because, yeah. Go this way. Thank you. Alright, because Doc's the only one that could probably know how to get his attention, so. Go. Psst! Doc! Doc! Have you found my younger self yet? Well, I met your younger self. How? Where have you been? What are you doing in jail? I saw my grandpa. Oh my gosh. Um about Kit Tannen. Well, I met your younger self. Great! And I gotta say, you're kind of uptight. What? You won't even talk to me. I find that hard to believe. Tell me what happened. Um, Emmett says he's not a scientist. I tried asking him about your it. rocket drill, but he says he's not a scientist. What? What? Oh, uh, father. What's he gotta do with this? In 1931, I was still deathly afraid of my father discovering the truth about my scientific predilections. So I carefully kept them under wraps, practicing science at odd hours, away from his prying eyes. That sucks. It sucked a lot. 
Unfortunately, I eventually stood up to him. But right now, my younger self probably thinks you've been sent by my father to check up on me. All right, um, that one. What do I do to convince Teen Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm not sure. Well, uh, anyway. Why does your younger self mutter all the time? Muttering? Why would I be muttering? I, I, I never mutter unless... Uh... The Hill Valley Expo! The Expo? Yes, the Expo. How could I have forgotten? In a few months, the younger me will put on a demonstration at the Hill Valley Exposition, my first public foray into the world of science. Everyone in town will be there, including a number of noted inventors who shaped my career. So, it was a big success? No, it was a miserable failure, but it was a spectacularly miserable failure, one which marked my transition from an amateur garage scientist into a professional seeker of truth. Okay, so... Why is the expo making you mutter? What does this expo have to do with you muttering all the time? When I was younger, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. No doubt my younger self is working on some impossible problem in an attempt to work off cerebral steam in the weeks before the exposition. What was I muttering about? I don't know. Uh, H to the something when the universe is something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. Um, you seem dedicated to the law. You know, law. your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. It's a facade, I assure you. I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. Mm, I still can't figure out what your younger self is muttering about. Blast! If only I could hear him myself. Alright, so we're gonna go back to this. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't forget, we're on a bit of a deadline here. Alright, we're gonna go try talking to him, see if that opened up anything else. Huh, what could we do? Hmm. I'm not sure. How do I go about doing this? I'm not really sure. Alright, let's go here. We're gonna have to find his younger self again. Oh, there he is. Perfect timing. And we just need to wait for him to come out. For some reason, he's going back and forth from the courthouse to the law offices, for whatever reason. Alright, so. There we go. No, come here. You. No. Yeah, let me get caught up with him so I can try talking to him. No. Alright, once I get close enough, I can stop. Alright, here we go. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal ah. crime, Mr. Corleone! Hmm. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my f The only people scared I. Hmm. Damn it. Uh, about your. Don't say it. Okay, we're gonna need another hint. Because I still don't know what to do. You know, scientific problems are gibberish to Marty, but there's somebody who can make sense of them. Um. Alright, so we need to pay attention to that and then try recording Emmett's mutterings. Okay. So we need oh shit inventory. We need the tape recorder. Uh, use item. Okay. We're gonna wait till he comes back. Okay, we're gonna wait till he gets here. So we're just gonna wait right here. Or right here, I guess. Wait till it comes out. Will you just give me a chance? No, no, Harassment's no, no. a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Crap, no. Uh, can I exit? Here, we'll do this and one. Uh, about your... Don't say it. Okay, do I have the tape recorder in my hand still? Yes, okay. Or do we take H to stamp with her midian line operator? But don't think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even possible? Oh, All right, now we'll go back to Dark. Force equals mass times acceleration, of course. Dark, come on, Dark. How many newtons right. are required to maintain a constant mass? Goodbye. Acceleration is reduced by the inverse of the speed. Relative. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Right. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, no. Go back that way. There we go. The controls are really derpy. That's like one of the only complaints I have for this game. They're really awkward and stiff. Alright, jail window. Click on it. Stack! Marty! How close the escape plan? Alright, um, here we go. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiply by the inverse of A. H to the A multiply by the inverse of A. I Good know. grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay. Uh, what was the formula What again? was H again? The Hamiltonian operator. Hamiltonian operator. Hamiltonian operator. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. Okay, Hamiltonian operator. Noted. I need to remember that. Hamiltonian operator. Hopefully it'll be an option, but just in case, I need to remember that. I, I got it now. Hamiltonian operator. Okay. So we're gonna go this way again. And we're gonna meet him up. Hey, hey, hey you. Hey, you. Will you just give me a chance? Alright. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Alright, um, here we go. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! Yes, yeah, Scotty. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself Scotty. in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket powered drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Uh oh. Um. I read a lot of Jules, Jules Verne. I'm from the future. Uh, no, we can't do that one. Let's do that one. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I oh. confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome. I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Uh, okay. I really need your rocket drill. All right. Well, there's three different ones. I guess we're gonna go. With Can I see your rocket powered drill? Of course, of course. Nice. Naturally, okay. it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say first thing in the morning. Um, I need it tonight. I need a full-sized model. I need a fully operational model. Now that's no good. I need to see a full-sized model. <gasps> that's fully operational. Whoa. Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal! Here's the subpoena. Alright. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> it's Kid Tannen! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Um, well, he's at the safe house, so yeah. Here, can we do... not escape, crap. I need to go to the inventory. Inventory? Um, is there like a map of some sort? Here, let's read it. Can we read it? Wait, no, crap. Inventory. Uh, examine. I need to get this subpoena into Arthur McFly's hands so young Doc will have the time to help me bust old Doc out of jail. Okay. Wait, what's this? Phone number. 
We oh here we go. All right, we're gonna go to um, the watch my place. Uh, gosh dang it! Let's, I keep pressing escape to get out of here, but we don't want to do that. All right, so we need to go back to the soup kitchen and find out where it's at. Maybe, possibly, or go back to Doc and ask where it's at. That's another option, I suppose. 